What's up everybody, welcome back to another Molt Man episode. Got something special for you guys today. I've been going non-stop for the past, uh, pretty much the past month. Uh, Chris, my buddy Christopher, y'all have seen him in a bunch of episodes. He just left Texas. Uh, that video will be up next. He uh, he got himself a big old whitetail buck, his first whitetail ever. But I've been waiting to get this footage from him. He got lucky enough and drew a Colorado goat tag uh, and he happened to film it all for me because I couldn't make the hunt so uh, this is Christopher's goat hunt I'm not going anywhere this is just something I thought would be cool to show you guys since he filmed it all for me and uh, we're gonna make an episode out of it so out here with the chickens it's so hot here in Texas I don't know what's going on with the weather but here is Chris's goat hunt and I hope you guys enjoy it hey everybody this is Christopher I uh, you guys probably see me before on uh some of Mike shows and some of the real hunting videos. Uh, I was lucky enough to draw a goat tag here in Colorado this year. Um, we're gonna be hunting up around 13,000 feet. And uh, unfortunately, Mike, who was supposed to be on the show, he was gonna come film it and everything. He had to bail out, he had to go to Utah for a deer hunt. So he asked me to record it and we'll see what happens. Uh, I was able to find a uh, replacement for Mike last minute. Uh, I found this guy on the street yeah, he goes by mullet guy. Oh. Mullet, right? Mullet guy. Mullet guy. Yeah. So, uh, so what's the plan here? What do you? Uh, what are we? Uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna try and get. They call the word is a hypoxic. That's when you're you're not getting enough air, oxygen. So thirteen thousand feet. It's pretty thin up there. Hopefully those goats are as winded as we are. Exactly. We're uh, we got the Pioneer loaded up. We're gonna chase them down in this thing, I think, uh, as long as they can make it up to the top of these mountains. But uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll get back to you guys. We're gonna head out to camp. We're probably not getting in there about 10, 11 o'clock tonight. We got a, about a three-hour drive tonight. Hope so. And uh, midnight's more likely. All right. So me and Mullet guy. Mullet guy. We got it done right here. We're gonna get it taken care of. We uh, we hope you enjoy what's about to come to you guys. Uh, and uh, we'll just keep you informed. Let's we'll see what happens. What's going on, everybody? So we're getting up here, getting closer to camp, but we uh, in the big truck with the trailer. The trail's getting pretty interesting. You can see we got across a big creek here. It's been pretty bumpy, so. But we're gonna go for it. Keep going. Well, man, what did you think of that drive coming in? It's a little puckery. <laughs> we were the only people pulling a trailer with a razor on it, that's for sure. Yeah, we found a good camp spot tucked back here in the trees. We're just below a timber line, but yeah, we uh, luckily didn't trash the trailer because it was getting a little hairy there. All right, we're going to set up camp and probably see you in the morning. Well, we're almost to the top here. The, uh, as you can see behind me, these mountains are big. I haven't spotted anything yet. But uh, I'm hoping as the sun kind of lights them up here, they'll start sticking out. There's a lot of white rocks up here, that's for sure. But, uh, got a good night's sleep last night. Old Ben let me borrow one of those canvas cutters. Those things are pretty sweet, man. They're comfortable. So... Oh. Slept pretty good. I'm gonna keep going. Morning, everyone. We got up here in the dark, so we're just sitting here waiting for the sun to come up. But in case you want to know what goat country looks like, this is it. We're up around 12,000 feet. I haven't spotted one yet, but. We'll wait for that sun to kind of light them up. Unfortunately, the video just doesn't do this justice. I wanted to show you guys this. This is a, we're way up here at 13,000 feet, and you can see there's remnants of a, an old mine, all the tillings and Cables all over the place up here, rock bridges, rock pathways. Shows you 
what those guys were willing to do for precious metals back in the day being up here well we uh covered a full drainage this morning a lot of terrain we glassed a lot uh didn't turn up a goat so we're gonna go check out the uh the next drainage over we gotta drive out about 10 miles and uh, kind of on a gnarly road and uh, then we got about an hour and a half hike in so we're gonna go see how that works out pretty cool we just came across a, a cow and calf moose we were coming out of here just came across these two hanging out on the water's edge What's going on everybody? We've been sitting up here glassing for the last two hours at about 12,500 feet. And we finally found a billy, but he is uh, way at the top of this peak. That is, is that a 14er? No, 13 four. 13 four, so he's another thousand vertical feet up from us. And uh, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. Not sure if we're gonna be able to make a play on him or not. Uh, we're gonna Sit and see what he does, see if he comes down a little bit. I'll let you know. Hey guys, so uh took us a few hours to hike up in here. Um, we did just over 3,000 vertical. We started down there in the bottom of that valley. You can kind of get an idea of where we're at here. There's a lake down below us. We've been glassing for a couple hours hoping something would want to come up uh, and start walking around to eat right before dark here as you can see we're in some big country and we just spotted that goat way up there at the top and he's looking like he's slowly working his way down in our basin so we're gonna watch him a little bit longer and we may try to make a move on him but we're good a few thousand yards away from him you can kind of see him there. We want to make sure he commits to this drainage and doesn't just pop over that next one. Or hopefully something else shows up. So that goat has uh, come down off the top. He's come down in our drainage, but he's still up in some pretty steep cliffs. Uh, there's a couple cliff bands right below him. So we're just going to watch and he's at about 1500 yards right now so if he uh, continues his route down we're going to make a move and see if we can cut the distance and uh, try to meet him down below the cliff band but, uh, definitely looks like a billy hard to see how size of his horns or anything but it's all right in this country i'll take him So this billy has made his way down off the last cliff ledge, so I think we're gonna, we're gonna pack it up here. See if we can close the distance. The stuff he's on is still pretty darn steep, so steep enough that if he drops and starts rolling, he's not gonna stop until he hits the bottom. But uh, if he continues to work his way down, then hopefully he'll we'll meet him at the bottom. Looks like a pretty good sized billy. But uh, hard to tell from this drainage. Yeah, that's all right. Right here. Got some nice little screw going down here.
thing he's a long ways away. Still hanging out up there. Let's go close the distance. We're closing the distance, but it's not easy up here. This elevation, you take about one breath for every two steps. I just hope we don't bump him, because I really gotta get settled down before I take a shot. There's no air up here at all. But it's still fun. We've cut the distance in half. But he's moving into some cliffs. So we're hoping he comes down just a little bit. He's just kind of grazing along, so. If he goes up, then we're done. We've lost sight of the goat for about the last 15 minutes. We gotta scale up this as quietly as possible. And that should put us pretty good range from them. We just have to relocate them. So we'll see what happens. Not exactly a uh, sneak attack. I hope these goats are used to that sound. All right, guys, we're at about 450 from them now. Oh, that's getting a little closer. We've got some big wind gusts that keep coming through. So I'd like to have a better shot on them. I got him. Here comes the mighty hunter. Look at that. A slight incident up there. So now we're down here. Uh, essentially, you can see where he was. As soon as we grabbed onto him, he took off. And uh, yeah. Life or limb. Yeah, it's better to let him go than us. But man, this, this is one of the coolest hunts I think I've ever done. I was saying, this uh, this couldn't have been a better goat hunt in my, that I, I could have wished for. I mean, we hiked in here. We're at, well, now we're closer to 13,000 feet. But uh, we hung out all day just waiting for something to show up, and this guy showed up. And we planned our hunt. Uh, and luckily, I mean, he didn't go too far. 
and I mean I hit them I've got several shots in them and I you know goat hunters will tell you that you just keep shooting until they stop because I mean he, he just took off and started climbing cliffs even though I was hitting them and uh, luckily we finally got to him we're gonna hurry up and try to skin them out and quarter them up we'll try to get much uh, off the mountain tonight as we can uh, we're losing light fast and this is pretty sketchy up here um, but I really want to thank uh, Mike and Ben and Ben uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the show those guys really helped me out they gave me some cool gear uh, Mike hooked me up with a Maven scope uh, that's what I was looking through earlier so uh, which is perfect glass for up here so I just uh, appreciate that group they're a fun group to hunt with and uh, you know this is just a, a dream come true right here guys and I got my brother with me you know couldn't wish, ask for a better partner to hunt hunt with so but uh we'll get this taken care of and uh hope you guys enjoyed the hunt as much as we did take care hey everybody so this is a uh, leg of one of my goats the rear leg i was hoping to do one of the front shoulders but unfortunately uh those are pretty destroyed so i wanted to cook an entire leg at once just to try it uh originally was going to smoke it on uh i know it's a new camp chef that uh the Benz and Mike hooked me up with, but everything I read about with Mountain Goat is that it is a little tougher, so I decided to go with the, uh, I'm going to roast it. So I basically covered it with a bunch of seasonings from, uh, just kind of Mexican style seasonings, and olive oil basted it. I'm going to throw some ancho chilies in here, with some tomatoes, I'm going to cover it, and then uh, I'm going to cook this thing all day and see if I can get it to fall off the bone and make some good tacos out of it. So. I'll uh, kind of keep you informed on how this is all turning out. This is a new one for me. Usually I like to cook things medium rare. and but This is a, I've never had mountain goat before, so I want to try something different. What do you think, little man? You ready to try this? Sure. The culmination of hard work. Whoa. A little foggy. All right, everybody, we, uh, we're about to try the final product here. Uh, as I told you before, I decided to try the whole leg. I want to make uh, something different this time around. Uh, I chose to do a, a goat leg Mexican style to make some tacos. We do it in the roaster as opposed to the smoker, just because I hear these things are super tough. Um, we also got a nice little spread to add to them. So here in a second, we'll make a little taco, but let's uh, get a first look at what this is gonna look like. Looks good. Looks pretty darn good right there. That looks pretty, that's pretty fun. We just, uh, we're gonna shred it up. Uh, essentially all I did was do a bunch of Mexican spices on there, uh, some bay leaves, some tomatoes, uh, a little orange juice, uh, a couple, chili peppers, and uh, what else do we put in there? Chipotle peppers, just kind of a, I don't know, this is a guessing game. We'll smells, see how good it tastes. It smells good. So, Pretty all right, we're gonna make one uh, one taco and we'll let these guys try it out. You guys recognize uh, my boy Fel, my brother that was on the hunt. These are his two boys, Tristan and Xander. Big fishermen, big hunters. So, what do you guys think? You guys ready to try this out? Oh, yes. All right. Let's make a taco. All right, so as you can see, uh, we just uh, shredded that thing up. I think half of it went into Kevin's belly before he even made it to the bowl, so we haven't even made a taco yet. Uh, what do you think so far? It's mellow. I expected it to be uh, stronger like lamb maybe, but no, it's kind of a sweeter meat, very mellow, and it's awesome. I think we, we cooked this at uh, about 250 to 275 pretty much all day. And it just, it fell off the bone. So I mean, that's, that's exactly what you want. So here, let's throw the taco together real quick. Who gets to try it first? Oh, oh, I'll try it, oh, I'll try it. Oh, we got kids. How about we let, uh, we got a guy here, a special guest named Tyler Fry. Uh, these are radishes. We're gonna throw a little few radishes on here. Tyler's got a good palate. We know this because he uh, works at our brewery for us and make some incredible beer so he knows his taste so we got a few jalapenos on there a little cilantro i know he didn't like the heat so we're going to back off on that a little bit a couple uh avocados 
pickled onions. Just squeeze some limes into your uh, onions there. And then this is just a little sriracha mayo sauce and some feta cheese. Whew. For me? Oh man. Oh man. First cut. All right, here we go. Mm. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could you compare it to anything else, like beef, anything like that? Mm. I've eaten a lot of goat in my life, and this one like tastes a little gamier than most like domestic goat I've had. Um, I always like goat because it always kind of has like kind of like a black pepper kind of flavor to it, and so it's always kind of always has like a kind of like an old woodiness to it, you know. So I love I love goat. I ate a lot of it, but this is amazing. I've never had wild goat before, but it's awesome. Plus, this is a, the spices and seasoning on it really kind of accentuate a lot of those kind of like what you kind of call like old world flavors. So it's good. All right. Well, there you have it from a palate. Uh -huh. It's a professional palate, I should say. <laughs> Knows what he's doing. I'm making my He likes it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Swipe up in the, uh, I don't know, subscription. Whatever Mike always says. Just go off of what Mike tells you at this point. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. It was a great time. And awesome food. Great hunt. What do you guys say? A good, a good bye and make yourself a talk. Say, go mullet man. Go mullet man. All right. So there you have it, guys. That is what goat tastes like. I thought it was a pretty cool video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Y'all hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and remember, eat good.